Welcome JS and RS learners in 6th video of NB tutorial series. In this video I will show you how to perform atmospheric correction using flash. This is the most reliable and best method for atmospheric correction of satellite image. So let's start. Here is my folder. I mean the image folder. This is the MTL file I mean metadata. I am just copy this folder for later use then start uh, NV so flash means first line of sight atmospheric analysis of spectral hypercubes that is an atmospheric correction method in NV for retrieving spectral reflectance from hyperspectral radiance image so before we begin the input image for flash must be a radiance image so go to file then open as Landsat GeoTIFF with metadata. I'm just paste the link of my image folder. The MTL file. I'm just open it. So here is my uh, image file zoom to full extent go to toolbox and write radiometric calibration and double click on radiometric calibration you can see here file selection dialog appears the multi spectral image I'm um, just select this one and click OK radiometric calibration calibration type in drop uh, down list you can see here um, I have selected radiance and in output interleave BIL and output data type plot and apply uh, for scale factor click on apply flash setting A scale factor 0, 0.10 output file name select a folder I'm creating a folder to save my radiance image so I'm just rename it output and give it a name radiance click open and then click OK So radiance file has been created here you can see this is the radiance uh, image If you check the before image and after radiance then you can see this is the after image and this is the before image so again go to toolbox and uh, write flash FLA, click double click on this so flash atmospheric correction module uh, input parameters dialog appears and uh, flash input file as radiance ok and radiance uh, scale factor since we used the radiometric calibration tool to create radiance image for input into flash leave the default value of on for the single scale factor field of the radiance scale factor dialog
output reflectance file output file give it a name reflectance and then click open so output reflectance file path has given an output directory file for flush so I'm selecting uh, my directory file for flush the output file is the flush file here is my output folder so I'm just selecting this on and click OK so output uh, directory for flash file has been set and uh, root name for flash file I'm just give it a name flash scene center location let along or this type you can select anyone then sensor type as uh, I am using the um, Landsat 8 image OLI so I am selecting this on Landsat 8 OLI as multispectral sensor type flight date uh, you will find this uh, information in the MTL file this is the MTL file of your image folder so you will find this information from here flight date uh, uh, you can see here the date acquired February uh, 11, 2020 So I'm just uh, right here February 11 and 2020 So I have set the flight date then flight time uh, GMT hour minute and second you will find this flight time uh, in the uh, in, in the same file so you can see here uh, scene center time here you can uh, see over here uh, scene center time I have set the flight time according to that uh, sensor altitude kilometer in kilometer it has been automatically uh, set and the ground elevation uh, in kilometer uh, it is uh, your uh, scene uh, ground elevation of your location it must be in uh, kilometer an aerosol model in the drop down list uh, you will see uh, several aerosol model tropospheric urban rural it depends on your location so you can set uh, any of that is uh, related to your location and uh, atmospheric model in the drop down list you can see the uh, tropical sub arctic summer wind attitude summer or uh, you can uh, you have to uh, select which uh, is related to your uh, geographical location and according to let on loan so tropical uh, according to my location as my uh, location lies in uh, 20 to 30 uh, latitude so I can see here tropical is uh, my
yeah tropical is my atmospheric model and aerosol retrieval to band kt initial visibility 40 km outer column multiplier 1 so then go to multispectral setting multispectral setting uh, dialog appears and i'm selecting d zone and assign default values based on retrieval condition go to default and then select first on our land retrieval standard then go uh, click ok so I have set all the uh, parameters here and then click apply flash atmospheric correction it is uh, in progress So you can see over here flash atmospheric correction results visibility 14 km and average water amount 4 cm cm yeah uh, now uh, I will add the reflectance image from the file from the output folder here is my output folder and here is my reflectance file Click open in data manager you can see this is my reflectance image and uh, red green blue RGB and then load data So this is my reflectance image. Photo toolbox uh, to check the uh, band minimum and maximum value write compute and then compute statistics then select reflectance image file and then click ok compute statistics parameters dialog appears and click ok You can see here uh, statistics view reflectance data value and wavelength and minimum and maximum uh, in this number so to get the value uh, from 1 to 0 I mean 0 minimum and maximum on then go to band and click on band math and math dialog appears and intern expression here I am um, uh, paste my expression I will uh, give this uh, expression uh, in the comment section or in the description section you will check it later and add to list click ok variables to band uh, pairings click here and band math input file in reflectance then click ok enter output file name select a folder where you want to save your file and give it a name 
so I am going to give it a name reflectance final then click open and then click OK so our reflectance final uh, image uh, has been generated here this is your reflectance final uh, image so if we check the uh, maximum and minimum value of band then go to computer statistics select reflectance final and then ok click ok so uh, you can see over here minimum and maximum value 0 to 1 click view swipe button to check before and after flash operation i hope uh, you have learned from this tutorial about how to perform flash atmospheric correction uh, if you like this video please subscribe the channel to get more videos on gsn remote sensing and see you uh, in the next video